Okay, back with another food vlog. Uh, today I'm gonna be making country style ribs or backbone stew. It's my grandpa's recipe. But I've already prepared the onions and right now I'm cutting the ribs. The oil is cooking right there. And I'm gonna, after I cut the ribs up and season them, I'm gonna throw them in the pot to get cooking. Uh, the seasoning is Tony Satcheries. It's West Beach. Season. So what are you doing right now? Are you recording? Yeah. Oh, cool. Um, I'm seasoning. Um, and you said you're using the Tony oh. Satchery? Yeah. How's it coming along? Good. I'm sick. Yeah, it sounds like it. I'm still sick. I said that in the last video. Okay, so I'm back. The meat is seasoned. You're supposed to put a lot, like way more than you think you should. Um, and now we're gonna throw it in the pot. But be careful, because you don't want the grease to like fly up and hit you. Okay, so now that our meat is in there, you just kind of leave it in there. Uh, we're at a medium, like medium heat about. And you just cook it till it's really brown. Like really brown. Like mean brown? Yeah, like you. Um, yeah. But, wash your hands a lot. That's what cooking is. You just wash your hands every time you touch something. I'm really hyped about this because my grandpa, when he makes it, he doesn't make it much, but when he makes it, it's like the best thing ever. Other than my mom's dumplings. Because those are really good. Uh, but I'm excited because that looks really good. So I've moved the meat to another pot because this pot had like a ton of the seasoning burnt on the bottom. But actually, no, that's not. Um, but now I'm gonna... I'm gonna put the meat in this dish. And we're gonna switch up to cook the onions. Uh, I'll use this. So, meat goes back. We're done with it for now. We're gonna put it back after we melt down the onions, pretty much. It smells really good. Okay, so I was dumb and <laughs> forgot to record but after we took the meat out uh, over there we put onions in and we melt them down and I didn't record me putting the onions in but you just kind of throw the onions in and you just kind of spread them out and cook them on the bottom in all that grease oh uh, and you just kind of cook them down and then in a little bit we'll throw the meat back on and then we'll put some water over the meat and you just kind of encase the meat in water. Is there any reason to do that? Flavor. It's like a broth almost at that point. That's kind of why it's a stew because all the water. Okay, so we're back. Um, we're gonna put the meat in over the onions. Um, that are like, you kind of melt them down, cook till they're sort of like a brownish, caramelized looking. Uh, and you put the meat back in. And then after we put the meat in over the onions, we throw water over it and the meat should be completely submerged about. And after the meat is submerged, uh, you just bring it to a boil, and then when it's a boil, you put it kind of on a low heat. Maybe like to three on our oven. I don't know how it is on other people's ovens. But be careful when you put the water in, because you don't want it to splash back. That was nice. Sounding. I'm just gonna turn it up a little bit. Get a little more water. I don't know how much I need for sure.
Oh, I'm gonna definitely need more. But it's looking nice. And then after you bring it to a boil and you turn it low, heat, you, uh, you put the lid on, but don't put it on all the way. Kind of leave it cracked open so the steam can escape. And you cook it for a long time till the meat's tender. So like an hour, maybe two. But we should be in the bag. I almost tripped. Okay, just a little more. Actually, I could probably no, I don't want to get those dirty. Where? There. Okay. I'll just put a little bit more water in. But it's looking pretty good. Pretty good. I'm excited. Okay. That should be good. Okay, so now the uh, stew is boiling. So after it boils, we just gotta turn it down to a low, like almost simmer. And then you just put the you just put the lid over and leave it, cook it. Okay, so. The meat and onion, they're kind of just simmering, cooking in here. Probably be another 30 minutes or something. It takes a while for the meat to get really tender. How long but, have we been waiting so far? What? How long have we been waiting so far? Like 30 minutes. Okay. It probably takes like an hour or two maybe. Mm -hmm. Hour and a half. Once it starts after boil. But I'm just cooking some rice really quick. Because it goes good with the meat. After I brought it to a boil, which I already have done. You just put the lid on. But most people know how to cook rice. Uh, after you put the lid on, you turn it to a simmer. Just kind of cook it for like 20 minutes. Uh, yeah. Okay, so it's done. It's been almost an hour since we put the meat in. It's been about 20 minutes since we put the rice in. But it's ready and it's really tender. So. I'm gonna get preparation done because, you know, me and the cameraman, all that hard work, we need food.